Hi, good morning, dear friends. Um, we are going to read the uh, Psalms for protection from the Orthodox Study Bible. Um, we are starting with uh, Trisagian prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you, O Heavenly King, who comfort uh, the Spirit of Truth, who are in all places and feel all things, the treasury of good things and the giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Now we will continue with Psalm 34 for protection from the Orthodox Study Bible. It uh, corresponds to Psalm 35 in all other Bible versions. It is a psalm by David. O Lord, uh, judge those who injure me make war on those who make war on me take hold of weapon and shield and rise up to my help bring forth the sword and confine those in opposition who pursue me say to my soul i'm your salvation let those who seek my soul be dishonored and shamed let those who plot evils against me be turned backward and disappointed let them be like dust in the wind's face and let the angel of the lord afflict them let their way be dark and slippery and let the angels of the lord pursue them for without cause they hid the distractions of their trap for me in vain they reproached my soul let the trap they do not know catch them and they themselves shall fall into the same trap. But my soul shall greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall delight in his salvation. All my bones shall say, O Lord, who is like you? You who deliver a poor man from hands stronger than he, and a poor and needy man from those who plunder him. Unjust witnesses rose up against me, asking me things I knew nothing about. They repaid me evil for good and bereavement for my soul. But I put on sackcloth when they troubled me, and I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer will return into my bosom like a neighbor, like our brother. So they, will, they were well pleasing like one who laments and is of a sad countenance, so I humbled myself. But they were delighted and were gathered together against me. Whips were gathered together against me, but I didn't know it. They were torn asunder, yet they were not pierced to the heart. They tempted me, they mocked and sneered at me. They gnashed their teeth at me. O oh Lord, when will you look on this? Restore my soul from their malice, my only begotten from the lions. I will give thanks to you, O oh Lord, in the great church. I will praise you among a mighty people. 
Let them not rejoice over me, those who are unjustly my enemies, those who hate me without a cause and wink with their eyes, who they spoke peace to me, but in their wrath they shim deceit and open wide their mouth at me, saying, Well done, well done, our eyes saw it. You saw this, O Lord, do not keep silence. O Lord, do not be far from me. Arise, O Lord, attend my judgment, my God and my Lord, to my cause. Judge me according to your righteousness, O Lord, my God, and let them not rejoice against me. Let them not say in their hearts, Well done, well done, our soul. Let them not say, We swallowed him up. May those who rejoice at my troubles be altogether dishonored and shamed. Let those who boast against me be clothed with shame and humiliation. Let those who desire my righteousness greatly rejoice and be glad. And let them say continually, The Lord be magnified. Those who desire his servant's peace and my tongue shall meditate on your righteousness and on your praise all day long. Now we are going to read the commentary to Psalm 34 from the Orthodox Study Bible. Psalm 34 is a prophecy regarding the Lord's suffering and death on the cross in Holy Week. For example, verse 11 refers to the false witnesses at the Lord's trial. He endured these things on behalf of and with his church in mind. Quote, my only begotten in verse 17. Quote, the great church and a mighty people in verse 18. And his people, quote, greatly rejoice. End of quote, and magnify him in verse 27 because of what he did for them. Psalm 34 is prayed in the third royal hour on Great and Holy Friday. We will continue with reading Psalm 47 from the Orthodox Study Bible that corresponds to Psalm 48 in all other Bible versions, a psalm of an oath for the sons of Korah for the second day of the week. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in his holy mountain, well rooted in joy throughout the earth, the mountains of Zion, the sites of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces when he helps her. For behold, the kings assembled, they came together, they saw her, thus they marveled, they were troubled, they were shaken, trembling laid hold of them. They were, they were labor pains like a woman giving birth. You shall wreck the ships of tarnish with a violent wind. As we heard, so we saw in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God established her forever. We pondered your mercy, O God, in the midst of your temple, according to your name, O God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your mighty hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion be glad, let the daughters of Judah greatly rejoice because of your judgment, O Lord. Encircle Zion and embrace her, describe her towers in detail. Set your hearts on her power and observe her palaces that you may describe them to another generation. O oh, his God, our God, forever and unto ages of ages. He will shepherd us unto the ages. Now we are reading the commentary to this Psalm 47 in the Orthodox Study Bible. Psalm 47 is a prophecy of the church as heaven and earth. See also Hebrews 
chapter 12, verses 22 and 23. In this respect, she is described as a city, in verses 2, 3, 4, 9, and 14, as Mount Zion, verses 2, 3, 12, and 13, and as a temple, in verse 10. And Jesus Christ is called Lord, in verses 2, 9, and 12. King in verse 3 and God in verses 2, 4, 9, 10, 11, and 15. We'll continue with prayer from the Orthodox Study Bible. O Christ our God, who at all times and in every hour in heaven and on earth thou worshipped and glorified, who are long suffering and merciful and compassionate who love the just and show mercy upon the sinner, who call all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, hello our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil and distress encompass us with your holy angels that guided and guarded by them we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of your unapproachable glory we are blessed unto ages of ages amen we pray god that you hear our prayers and supplications for protection in the coming week and forever i pray for everyone who is listening and for myself to be Protect it in a miraculous way every day to feel your presence and to be able to serve you, to be ready and willing to serve you, to lament and rejoice with you. Thank you so much for the psalms that you gave us today and uh, lead us during the week and uh, forever from now on. Uh, into your presence uh, in order to, for us to feel protected and bless Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages Amen through the prayers of our Holy Fathers Lord Jesus Christ our God have mercy upon us and save us into your hands, O Lord, I commend my soul and my body. Bless me, have mercy upon me, and grant me life eternal. Amen.